Premier Eden Sa 2. And then come back, so maybe that'll uh, fix yep. some of the stuff. Dust Tower is going to be the map for the ZVZ. Very big, big map. A uh, very defensive map. Probably going to have a longer game here. We, we've seen players try to do some all-ins on this map. It's, it's still possible, but having that ramp with the backdoor base definitely leads you to not usually go for that. Um, and I feel like both these players, they feel pretty even against each other. I'd say even Bill has, has got to be somewhat confident against Sue. Yeah. Um, you know, from an objective perspective for us, I'd say, like, I voted for Sue. I think he's he's going to get this one in this matchup. But yeah. anything could happen in a ZVZ. Any, anything sure. could always happen in a ZVZ because just builder losses happen. Um, there's a lot of, like, volatility with Mutalist versus Mutalist. Uh, even if you control perfectly, sometimes you misjudge mm. Mutalist counts or, like, that you get caught by, like, that one burrowed investor. Like, this matchup has like just always been so volatile, and that's why I said like if they bring it to the fourth game, maybe Biel can take it, force the ace match. They got ahead with two wins I didn't expect early on, so like now Biel's not forcing the ace match. He could actually just close it out. Worst case scenario, they go to the ace match. So this is a really comfortable position for CJ here, hmm. and uh, they were like so close to even closing it out with Bunny's build, which I loved. Like. You see a build like that too. I feel like you're looking at the series, thinking like they were thinking they were gonna be in this position where it's like we just cheese them and we get out. We like take the three yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta prepare for dark regardless. You know. Yeah. Um, that could have been the game that like keeps them in it and gives Bial a chance too. If we're looking at the flip side, sure. Like if, if both Dream and Innovation take their wins, so interesting build doesn't work out. And uh, what do you, I guess as we got some time here, interesting, they're not, both the players still not in the lobby. Um, uh, what do you, what do you think about that last one, Larelac Crest? Like, do you think Hero should come out on that one, or do you think they'll try Bill oh, there? I, I think there's no other choice for CJ, and then like, what about SKT? Well, I think probably we're going to see Hero. Um, now, what would be a really cool move from SKT, I think would be send Classic. He showed an awesome PvP yesterday versus S and won the matchup. And he isn't being fielded today uh, in the regular lineup. So, you know, he's kind of hidden. Maybe no one's really thinking about him. I would love to see Classic come out on Lairlac. But that's thinking about the matchup alone and who they might send. Hero is, to me, like a very likely candidate for CJ just because he's been doing the best, even though he hasn't been doing as well as he did last year. Yeah. Um, it's not necessarily the best candidate for the map, so I mean that's basically summing up what I think as yeah. we actually finally have this info coming could, out here. Could be dark too. I mean, you're always pretty happy to send out dark, right? Yeah. Macy Innovation. We'll see if we even get there. We do have the ZVC first. Sue is really on a roll here uh, in Pro League. Seven and one. You know, we talk about these guys like Maru, like Zest, like even Innovation, but Sue is up there at seven and one. Like I didn't even realize how high up he is on that winner's ranking. Yeah, he hasn't played as much as some of the other SKT players. He also, oh, um, oh wow, GTR. <laughs> but Sue also has not been doing well in individual leagues because he dropped out of both very early. So mm -hmm. we haven't seen as much Sue this year as we did last yeah. year and the year before. For sure. Guys, we're going to jump into game number four on Dust Towers for the ZBZ. Up here in the top right in the red for CJ Entis, it is Biel. And down here in the blue, it is Sue for SK Telecom T1. Won one of his seven games yesterday, winning the ZVZ matchup versus mm -hmm. Lenoch. And starting off with an aggressive build here, going to be 13 12. There you go. As fast as you can get that pool and gas out uh, with, you know, Economically, I suppose, getting yeah. that first drone, of course. Yeah, you can't really skip that one. Um, it's just not efficient. I guess they're cooking. Oh! <laughs> Run away! Hide my face with my hair. Also, I swear some of these girls use it's like what that why they have hair. Yeah. yeah. That's their yeah, defense that's the mechanism. Only... <laughs> and look at the build out of Biel. Gonna be a hatch first in the back door. Let's see how greedy he does get with this oh build. Oh my god, is Sue just gonna do it again? Just get a, another build order win. Two drones. If oh he, man. If he goes three in the gas. Okay, he skips the third, but goes gas. Very greedy. And there's the pool. So yeah, this is gonna be very late. And he's not gonna have the scout here for a very long time. Again, it's a it's a long map. 
It's not like he could have gotten the, the fast scout on a four-player map like Lairlock -like Crash or something like that. Or even like Runes of Sarah. So he's not going to have that information. Already four links have been made. Let's see what Sue decides to do with this aggression. Does he immediately go across the map? Does he wait in his main? I think he's about to make a Baneling Nest. I think he's going to do the same thing he did yep. yesterday. Yep. He's it worked once. Why wouldn't it work again? He, Isn't that the way it always happens? Will? That's how it goes, man. <laughs> and he's just going to pull these, hiding them because of the lack of scouting information, like you were saying. Not looking good for Biel here. As Sue is pulling the links, he's going to have speed shortly. He will move out before that, I would say. Uh, otherwise, he's giving too much time for Biel to really uh, yeah. respond. I mean, it's, it's an interesting thing because you could let Biel get even more greedy if he doesn't see anything with his Overlord, right? Where he's like, oh, okay, he doesn't have a fast pool because I didn't see anything on the map with my Overlord. So he's keeping even just four links at the top. It's almost like he's going to show those first at the timing. Like, he waited for this exact timing, and this has got to be the timing for normal links to come out. And you see more and more drones coming out of Biel. This Sue is like the new biggest trickster on the block here because this is a really well-planned build. Builder Bonjois, man. Here he comes. Lings are spotted now, but it's very late. All the larvae for Bill just used. He has to immediately start his own defensive baneling nest. Because he had a lot of time to build up some gas, he might be able to make a few banelings. He's getting a spine crawler as well because he needs all the defense he can get. Also trying to wall like Leenok. He has more time than Leenok did because of this delayed attack. Look at how many lings are immediately going into the back door, going for these drones, getting that easy economy. Almost catches some of those lings, and let's see where he goes for now. Is he going to go for the hatch? He does have these Bane lings to protect. Yeah, he's going to use these to protect his lings while they will kill his hatchery for free. And at the and same soon time, starts his own hatch at home. Yeah, exactly. This is not 100% all in. He is uh, you know, making another queen even back at home. But it's going to be a nice little temple play. Those queens get kind of out there off the creep. Yeah, risky business there, but look at this. Beal is so smart. He immediately cancels the spine, makes two defensive bailings just in case it's like a follow-up all-in because he doesn't know for sure. His Overlord's still just checking the third base, knows that's not there. Um, but he is like not over committing to the defense. Uh, yeah. And that's really important. Took his damage, but like you said, just immediately going to drop down another, another hatch. No C safe for now. But uh, Sue definitely going to be in a nice spot here. He's going to have the earlier lair, has these bailings out. He denied that hatch, right? And now he's ahead in drones. Going for a quick lair, um, which Biel won't be able to scout with his first overlord because uh, it's going down to the natural right now. The second one is looking for reinforcements, which is more important. He's getting his own lair too, though. He's really, like, he knows that there could be a fault, but with this overlord here, he's, he hasn't seen anything yet. He's like, nah, you know what? I'm just not going to overcommit. This is what Sue wants, and I'm not going to give it to yeah. him. Yeah, he has experience against this build. Be all a very experienced player, definitely putting into practice. He's like, okay, I know how to respond to this. Just don't overreact. Um, trying to get that scout there was a really nice block from Sue on his own ramp. And Sue sticking around for as long as possible to deny that third. He hasn't taken his own third, obviously, but uh, yeah. definitely showing these units to the Overlord, saying, like, hey, I'm still out here. Be scared. He's got seven workers up. His Spire lines up almost perfectly with his lair. He has a fourth gas on the way. He's building up such a gas bank. It's almost like I feel like Biel can't try to compete beetle-wise. I mean, he probably will because that's just the way this works right now, but he's got no extra gases. He has enough for a Spire. They could start it right away. Nope, there it is. But he's like just always going to be behind in gas unless he makes something happen with these lings. In which he is sending them across right now as he sees the drone come down. Yeah. Uh, he, they both only got two banes, and biel has got four extra lings, right? But Dark's got the much better economy. It's going to be very hard for Biel to do much damage. He just wants the scout. But look at how meticulous Sue is on that ramp. He, Bill tries to split up like one link to the left, one to the right. Sue's like, no, I just go right for the ramp. I stop the scout, and that's ex that's all I got to do. Yeah. Oh, man, these banelings also, he makes a third one just to be safe. He doesn't want anything running by. He's not even worried about his hatchery, like you said. He's more worried about the scout. And Sue's going to be able to make six mutas immediately. Uh, and they're going to control the map. He's going to be able to kill the first overlord. There's two more out towards uh, the third base. And he's also getting his own third. Um, the worker count is even, but it's all about the gas. And, you know, for by further extension, all about the mutilus count. Look at this queen even, like, so meticulously stopping the Overlord from seeing anything. Also damaging it so the first uh, wave of mutas will kill it even faster. 
And that's when Bill is going to have to really like press the panic button and respond. He's going to get his first glimpse now. His six meters is so further behind what uh, Sue is building. He's going to pull his overlords back very quickly, which is smart and a nice reaction from him. Yeah, look at the scout of Sue, too. This is going to get a full scout, so oh. he knows what the follow-up is. Bill not as on the ball with denying the scout. While we're seeing these overlords get killed, uh, Sue does scout the entire base. <laughs> So there you go. He's also cleaning up a lot of this. He's going to supply block Bill. He's going to get just more and more mutas, just get that much more ahead in this matchup. He's so far ahead that he could almost even fight mutas versus mutas. Like, they're at 6 and 6 on the map. Like, Sue had 6 uh, with that uh, force, and he was, like, about running the 6 of Bills. And he was, like, almost ahead enough to fight that. But he's like, no, just going to keep killing all your overlords. I know I have more gas than you. Like, that's just a fact. He's also way ahead in the armor upgrade, which means that the Mulists are going to be able to fight even better. And I, yeah, this I mean, is going to be like a tough game for Bielta. I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you guys. It's going to be a hard one. He yeah. can win it. It's possible. It's doable. But he's going to be playing from behind. That he is. I mean, he's behind, I think, about six, five or six Mutas right now. And just even like the earlier hatch, like everything is going Sue's way. Uh, he hasn't really tried to commit yet. He's uh, very, very safe about this, you know, not overdoing it. Denies the scout again, which is very nice. But uh, you see back at home for Biel, he's already transitioning into investors. He's like, I can't I can't win this Muta War. I see how many he has with all my links. I have to transition sometime. And uh, inv investors it will be, but if Sue goes for an attack before those investors do get out, he can do a massive amount of damage. Yeah, it looks like he wants to play for like some sort of even further longer game. But I think he's under the impression Bill isn't switching because he doesn't have any information about that. Oh, oh he does. no, they're in the wrong spot, oh. the wrong time. Look at that response time from Bill. The second that blue hit the minimap, he pulls him back and saves him. It looks like Sue just wants to uh, play like the super long game. This can be really risky when you commit this much to the Mutas though because of the power of the investor. Uh, this is like, when I look at what Beyond, uh, Biel is doing right now, it reminds me of so many of the games that Linoc has won in CBZ. It's not all of them in Pro League, but in, uh, you know, other tournaments, online tournaments, things of that nature. It's like, okay, I just rush out investors and go Hive. Are you really going to stick with the Mutas that long? Go for it. Like, now you can't break me anymore. I'm going to sit on three bases for a while. Yeah, I can't take a fourth immediately. But if you make one wrong move, I get so far ahead. I love this one Muta scout. Like, how, how many Mutas are you committing to? Oh, wow, that's a lot. Okay, I'm going to make a few extra spores and build my gas, because I'm not going to commit to anything else. I don't need more investors than this. Five is enough. I can kill your 26 meters if you commit. I dare you to fight me. Yeah, I do like that Sue is eventually transitioning here, even uh, committing to the pathogen plants before making his own investors on the map. And again, just very passive, doesn't really want to attack here. Looks like maybe he'll go for it now, try to deny a fourth base from ever getting out of the map, perhaps. It uh, does have a lot of lings on the ground here, but as you were saying, if he gets bungled, this can get very dangerous, so has to be very careful about he does, about the way he does engage here. Making six investors of his own that will have that energy from the pathogen glands, but still no hype here for Sue. Sue has 350 gas, so I was wondering like if he was going to make his own banelings and try to attack in here, because he still has this ling force, and he's got a few banelings with it. But, nine um, investors. Nine. He's really committing. Um, whereas Biel is just going up to the further tech. Uh, because the Ultras have what I believe is called Frenzy as their passive, they you know won't be locked down by Fungals. So this big commitment to investors could actually pay into what Biel is building up right now, uh, committing all of his gas to Ultras. He has 900 gas right now because he just hasn't been exchanging anything. He kills his hatch for free, so no fifth base. No cancel even. Yeah, nice little run by over there. And, uh, Bill's uh, this, fighting his way back to this game. Yeah, I mean, Sue is uh, definitely up a base. Bill only getting his fourth now, but uh, he's holding on, you know. He's holding on, getting that chitinous plating now. Needs those ultras, I feel. Like, once he, once he gets a nice big count of ultras, if he can even get there, uh, he will have stabilized, but it looks like Sue knows that timing and he wants to attack before then. Ling's already pushing in here. The Mutas are grouping up as well as those nine investors. I feel like he can't engage this right now without more Banelings. Like, how is he going to... There's 13 spores that Biel has. 
even if he fights with all these queens and all the fungals that are come down, coming down, like even though he has his own investors, like he can't beat the spores. Okay, he's making the banelings I was talking about. I'm like, how's he gonna kill the spores? Banelings will kill the spores. The lings also, you know, they're gonna run in. They're gonna have, uh, actually, they don't have one one upgrades yet. Uh, the old does. Okay, here we go. He's gonna commit. He's gonna go actually get fungled there with those lings. A few banelings going up on the investors. Really nice fungals there on all the mutas of Sue, but all the mutas of Bill also getting fungled. And look at that bomb. bomb. He's oh! about to damage coming down here. Sue actually morphing, uh, throwing out some of these infested Terrans here to yes. clean up the air army, and he is doing damage to this work base at the same time. All these drones are transferring into dangerous territory, but look at the Ultras. They're out now, and he's got five more about to pop. He's about to have seven, eight Ultras, I think. And even though he lost his economy, the counterattack is going to be fierce. Yeah, it really is. Trying to focus down this work base, he's not going to do it. The Ultras will save it. I think Bill may want to counterattack right now. He's not 100% sure where Sue is in terms of this tech. Yeah, this is actually just a crazy game. Okay, he's going to commit to it. He has a few investors for support. And six Ultras of Sue are going to take so long to pop out that's such a long build time for them. And no Kite this Plane, too. That just started here. Getting seven of them definitely helps, but he is behind. Does cancel, or rather kill, that fifth base. And the Lings are actually going to keep the Ultras back. He actually might kill one oh, of Sue's bases. Oh, that's huge. Nice that is snipe. so big. Nice snipe there. And Biel is staying at home with these Ultras, so it's buying him time to get his own out. Oh, he saves it with 40 hit points here, that hatchery on the other side of the map. Yep, that's gigantic. I feel like Sue just brought himself right back in here. Yeah, and he he's has like so totally much gas. fine. Like killing all those bases, he's, you know, it was kind of like a, an interesting attack because it wasn't as dominant, you know? Oh. This will go down, yep. but uh, that is okay. Kind of expected there from the Lynx. This attack has been delayed, though Kennen's plating on the way, and lots of ultras coming out here for Sue. He is now maxed out. Yeah, Biel has the Kitanus plating. That's really key. Um, all right. Does finish Sue's up 2-2. Two, two. Sue's about to have his own. Yeah, 2-2 two, two is finished, plus three started immediately. He just wants to deny this base, I think, and then leave. He's just going to swipe it a few times with those, uh, those tusks and then get out. Oh, he's actually going to commit to trying to grab some of these queens. And he may very well do so. It's actually going to be a crazy fight. I've never seen anything <laughs> like this in my whole casting career. Guys, Ultras are a good unit. Like the, I remember this one July game where we saw Ultras in ZBZ like in 2010, 2011. But besides that, man, this is just not. <laughs> Adrenal ZBZ. Glands is also a good upgrade. Uh, Sue doesn't have it just yet. Yeah. But uh, he'll be killing hatcheries faster once he does. <laughs> I guarantee you that. It's the Valdez guarantee, man. Mm -hmm. Well, all these things going down here, allowing Sue to make, how many Ultras is he making right now? Uh, two more. So it's going to be 13, 15 to 10, as Biel uh, is also making 15 to more. 13, 14 now. <laughs> okay. But better upgrades to Biel, and one Ultra is not going to be what changes this fight. It's going to be how the Ultras fight, like their surface area that they can get. Also, all the Queens of Sue are going to help out so much. Transfuses, he has, let me see, this is blocking actually right now. Four Queens to the three of, of Biel, but those Queens are not with this army. They may be walking over now. It looks like they are. Oh, look at this. Biel's going to snipe with their hatch, and he's going to get some fungals here on top of the drones. No cancel on the hatchery. And Sue, I mean, he has a huge mineral bank, but his gas bank isn't going to get any bigger if he can't get that hatchery up. Here are the queens slowly marching across. Bill is waiting for them. Uh-oh, does not want to fight these ultras here. Uh, wants to make sure they're spread. Uh-oh, the queens and investors are blocking some of those ultras back. This is so interesting, the way the CBC is playing out. Tell your out. friends to come into this game, guys. This is about to get Here crazy. We go. Here we go. Ultra on, ultra action. Oh, boy. Infested Terrans being thrown out a there. A lot of them, actually, from Sue. They're going to mess up with the pathing. And and the Queens are not here yet. He needs those transfuses. There they go. Going to transfuse some of the left side ultras to win that fight. The Infested Terrans really helping out here for Sue. And he's pushing. Biel's Ultra is back. Biel remaxes with eight Ultras, but they're not even close to being ready, and they're going to take so long to make. Sue may be able to end the game before then. It looks like he may be able to. Even those investors thrown out the last he of just their has energy. Too many. He kills all of these Ultras, and even though the Ultras are very low, as you said, the Ultras of Biel are going to take way too long. Going to kill the fourth base again, and all this economy just going to go straight for everything here in all these bases. And all the Ultras that are going to pop out, most of them are going to get surrounded as they spawn. He's got 12 Ultras on the way. One's like in this egg right here. It just started. It's not going to be finished anytime, so you can just ignore that. Yep. Lynx are going to take control of this uh, fifth base down the bottom right. And Bills, he's done. It's over. 
Uh, he, a few ultras popping out here. He's got, you know, full health on them, so he's going to do decently well at first. But look at all these queens for transfuses, infested Terrans. And even though Bill will clean this army up, He's like, lost his fourth base, his third base, his fifth base. He's no longer mining, so he's fine at home. He's remade his own ultras. It's now eight to six in favor, or now eight to eight, actually, evening up here. But the damage has been done. Now to 34 drones is Biel. He needs to attack and kill Sue somehow, but I feel like that's impossible yeah, at that point. He's, if he just groups up the rest of his ultras here, the ones that have full health that were dealing with the one Predator Zergling that was like going to ham on the mineral line, <laughs> should be fine. Every second that Bill is not killing Sue, he's losing this game. And it, there's nothing he could do except try to hope for a miracle. It's not gonna happen. And here you go. That's gonna be it. Looks like we are going to an ace match. There it is, the last one. GG! GG. Sue takes the win. And there you have it. We are going to that ace match. Very nicely done. What an interesting CVZ. I was saying, hey, Dust Tower is going to take a long time. I didn't think we'd get to Ultra Queen Infester versus Ultra Queen Infester, though. Yeah, that was definitely the, the most interesting CVZ I think I've ever co commentated in my entire casting career. <laughs> Just watching Ultras versus Ultras, I'm like, I guess like once one player starts to win, then they kind of surround, but otherwise they're just so big and clunky and there's so many different pathways. All right. Who cares about Ultras vs. Ultras? Because now, it's time for the ace match. It's time for Smiling Sue first. Right, I'm going to ask you, which two players do you think we're going to see, and which two players do you want to see? Oh, and they're, they're, they're well, allowed to be the same, okay? I want to see Dark, obviously. I mean, it's me. Like, I, I really love seeing Dark play. He is one of the best Zergs. I, I think he is a very big co uh, proponent to come out here on Laralac Crest, a map that we see a lot of Zergs come out here as well. Besides him, I mean, go for someone who can counter hero. I feel like Dark can do it himself, but maybe you want someone more specific. You were talking about Classic. Yeah, I I want to see Innovation versus Hero, the rematch, but I think we're going to see Classic versus Hero. Um, Dark, definitely possible on this map, though. So, I mean, it, it, anything goes. That's the thing about SKT is they have such a vast lineup that so many they could choices. take Dream out, and I would be like, okay, that's not what I expected, but this still is like really strong. I don't know, <laughs> you know, like like some young shit got. I'm like, okay, he's probably got an all-in plan. Who knows? Uh, but for CJ, I think we're really looking at hero here, which means that someone easy to counter as a player. So I think SKT is looking at the players they want to choose as to like who's the best answer to hero right now. As we see, Oob is talking to Sue a lot. I don't think Sue's going to be doing a repeat performance, but he may. Well, I mean, they're looking at him, right? The coach immediately goes over there, opens up that secret little paper. Maybe he's telling Sue who it's going to be and how to prepare. We don't really know. We're getting into this game, Laralac Crass. The lights are going out in the studio. We need to find out who the two players will be for the ace match. SKT looking mortal versus MVP, now versus CJ, two of the weakest teams in Pro League this season, both times going to an ace match. They won last time versus MVP, and we're about to find out who they choose to face CJ Entis now. As the lights go down here in the studio, the players come on to stage. Who's it gonna be? We're gonna get the reveal here. In just a minute, there's one more light on. Okay, there it goes. All the lights are down, let's find out. It's all down to one best of one. Here's the reveal. Give us the lights. The two players that will be playing in our ace match are oh, Hero versus Hero Dark. Hero versus Dark. There Dark it is. is coming out. You, you wanted to see him. You get your wish. I get to see Hero at least. We're going to have a PBZ to decide it all. This makes a lot of sense. The two heroes, the two ace players for their teams, their respective teams, coming out on Laralac Crest. And we are going to go to a 10 minute break first, but tell your friends to come back here for Hero versus Dark for our ace match to decide who will be the winner of tonight's matchup.